All right, everybody. Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Option Pit. I got to put on some music to get everybody's uh, juices flowing. We didn't have much of an overnight. Oh, there was some overnight activity, but it seems to have, uh, let's just say, subsided. Now, here's my big question for all of you. I can hear that in my headphones, but can you guys hear the Option Pit theme song uh, in the chat room? Oh, you can't, David? All right. I'm going to have to change my speaker setup again. <laughs> what a pain. Of course, I think they can hear it when I send it out, but that's the way it goes. All right, so... Uh, well, what do we have going on? Um, here is our, again, our condor and butterfly. This is a beginning. Uh, Mark did it last night. I think we had like 400 people or something in the room. It was a pretty big, um, pretty big showing. Posted to the blog. So if you're interested in kind of getting a sense of how we look at things, this is a good example for you. And let's get to the markets this morning. Um, this is what I would say right now. Um, we it's we had some trending action in uh, volatility. You know, maybe that was our big opportunity to sell some yesterday. Uh, as of right now, things are just kind of sitting sort of dead dog in the middle. Uh, we're not getting a lot of action uh, one way or the other on it. And ultimately, you know, we have some strategy letter trades in here uh, that are looking for a little movement one way or the other. If you had sold some ball yesterday, uh, earlier in the day when things looked ugly, uh, maybe against a position, it would have worked out okay. Right now, everything's just kind of sitting doing nothing. Um, and... All I can say is like a 14 volatility is a, you know, let's just call it a fair number, right? Take a look at the SPY or the SPX volatility. 10-day vol, it's funny, is only 9.5. Uh, at the money volatility here in the index is, you know, 12. We were seeing uh, nines near term not very long ago. Okay, so the market is definitely, it's pricing like a three-quarter percent per day type of move. And at least as of right now, we're, we're really not getting it. So I think there's a little bit of a wait and see. If stocks kind of hold up a little bit, um, you know, especially stocks like Apple, um, I think we're just looking to see if we don't, everything just doesn't get smashed. Right, and that's... I think what we're looking for. Uh, Bank of uh, China did, doesn't seem to have upset anybody uh, too much over the weekend, over the uh, overnight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> saying the yuan will eventually. I like that. Just reading the Wall Street Journal. Oh, it'll all be okay. Uh, we just thought we'd do that right now. <laughs> so. What does that do to emerging markets? Well, devaluations freak out uh, players, funds that have leverage in emerging markets because they think that's going to cause a round of devaluation. So you look at a something like uh, you know Brazil, the EWZ or the EEM, and just take a look here. This is, right, certainly breaking apart from the rest of the universe, okay? So the emerging markets have gotten totally annihilated, okay? And I think part of it is just all the dislocation in, Japan, in uh, China. We've talked a lot about, all right, the U.S. has basically stayed insulated from this. Um, but the, the but 
the emerging markets, the EEM, has not. It's very much been dragged down by all of this. So I think that's something we'll look today uh, in the chat room and see if we can find something. Again, it's not necessarily, I think, a bottom fishing trade. I don't know if everything is over in China. But we will take a look and examine this. Because right? clearly, China is dragging this index as it should down a little bit. Okay. And if we look at this, this is a two-year low is significant, right? U.S. equity prices are not anywhere close to that, right? Okay. We had a little bit, you know, but we are sitting here in the same range. Again, we're definitely range bound here at the top with no reason to go higher. At least we don't have that, uh, uh, let's just call it the stimulus reason to go higher, right? The QE stimulus and all that. But the emerging markets world is telling a very different story. Right? How real that story is, uh, and if it actually starts to weigh down on us at some point, that makes a difference. Maybe the Fed is looking at uh, as a possible, as a possible, you know, we're not going to raise in September, maybe December, but I can see that that's a possibility. So you're sitting here on our our market that doesn't do too much. Uh, it has been bouncing regularly uh, off, kind of around the 205 area, uh, except then when there was some real panic here earlier in the year. So and it's been going. At some point, it will stop doing that. We just don't, you know, when that will be, we don't. I would just call today a stabilization day, and considering we are moving into the weekend, and VIX and the volatility is going up per strike, don't discount that. Okay. All right, everybody. I will see you all in our chat room shortly.